Welcome back to Reset Day 3 of our 7 day workout challenge. I'm Tristan, I hope you're doing well. As always, we're going to jump right into it. Orange sweatbands, total body today. We're changing the timing protocols to be a little bit more demanding, I think. Uh, a little bit more exciting. It's 20 minutes total for the workout. It doesn't include the warm up and the very brief cool down. But let's, uh, let's get ready to go right into it. So let's stretch off. And yes, we will be doing huggers today again and again and again as we do in all the workouts. I love them. Ah, how are you feeling today? It's the uh, third day in. Uh, did you uh, did you sleep well? Do you have any aches? I'm, I'm sure you're fine. I'm sure you're doing great. If you do get some aches, I, I found a lot of times with new workouts when I start something fresh, it's usually not the, so you, you know, after you start day one, it's not day two I necessarily get. I, I tend to find day three, day four, I tend to get like a few little aches. So, Good thing about this is going through here, you'll get more blood into the system, into the body, into the muscles, and it'll actually help you out, okay? Start getting more blood into those aching muscles if you have any. Right, let's kick our legs off. Ankle rolls at the bottom here. Ah, that's lovely, both ways. Ankle roll there, both ways. Okay, and again, we're gonna go from the bottom to the top, and sometimes I say top to toe, although a lot of times just do from the bottom to the top. All right, shake them off. Let's do another of our little hip. Stretches there, and just drop down. Change legs, just over the knee, and just sit down like that. Hold a wall. Some of you won't need to hold a wall. I need to hold the wall, or I'll fall over. All right, okay. Let's drop in here. Get a hip flexor stretch. Change legs. Sorry. Day three. What we've got today is the timing pattern of, let's do some car for a stretch while we're doing this, 40 seconds with 20 seconds to rest. We have 10 exercises in the circuit or in the block, and we're going to do that twice, making it essentially 20 minutes. All right, this one, because of those 10 exercises, does feel kind of demanding, all right? But I really think that once you get the swing of it, once you're going through it, you're gonna do great and enjoy it, okay? Um, I say 40, 20, as always, the timer will be on the screen. If you find that 25 seconds is better for you, 30 seconds, whatever, no problem, just stop and then come back at the next exercise. Um, I also think that if there's any exercises you think, oh my God, I'm really struggling with, just take a breather, just stop and come back in when you're ready for the next exercise you feel comfortable with, all right? We will have, I think, a minute's break at the end of the first block. If you want to take longer, pause the video and uh, come back in when you're ready for block two. I'm gonna press the start button, count us down. Our first exercise is running in place or high knees. So are you ready? Let's, uh, oh, I don't know. Let me grab some water. Where's my water over here? Sorry, we've got to have some water. Definitely got to because I know what happened. If I don't have it, I'll forget about it. So. Let's have some. Even though, as you know, there's little reminders on the screen, make sure you get a little sip. And we'll go. Right, 10 second countdown. Run in place, high knees. We'll vary some exercises, depending on if you're a beginner or advanced. Remember, this whole thing here is a reset to give your body a break from what you've been doing in other colorful workouts and just get back on track and recharge. Okay, so there's just lie, the light running in place like this, just knee, feet coming up, knees slightly off the, off the ground or about halfway between here and 90 degrees, if you're on high knees, it'd be like this. Okay, so you're getting the heart rate up. Down here to there. So just like that, see? Nothing crazy to start with. Run in your place. 10 seconds, all right? Next thing we're going to one called deadlift touch, which essentially is a balance move, okay? One second, right. 20 seconds, shake them off. Deadlift touch, we're doing three each side. Here's how it's gonna be. Deadlift touch is like this, you're coming down and up. And the left side would be, of course, the mirror image. If I come facing you, okay, we'll come like this, all right? All down there, one. Well, you might wobble, two. So we go, one. Two, step to the other side, one, two, step to the other side, one, two, okay, one, little bend in the knee, 
And having just done the run in place, you're gonna feel a nice warmth and a burn in the glutes and the hamstring doing this exercise next. Yeah, you'll probably find one side you're more balanced or more comfortable. That's fine. And you will wobble, most likely. Maybe you won't, maybe you've got super balance. <sighs> right, push-ups, reach-unders. I think up to this point we've done some close-up push-ups in the other workouts, but not a normal push-up. So, hands, just do it on this one, just wider than the mat, under the shoulders. Push-ups down here, up, and you're gonna reach to your quad, reach to your quad, okay? Down, up, and you're probably thinking, if I'm a beginner, how would I do that? So, on your knees, tap, knees, tap. That would be how I want you to do it as a beginner. In fact, I notice here that my hands are a bit too further forward. I'll come back here under my chest. So there, up, one, one. If you want to do the taps on both sides, then the push-up, that's good too. Whatever you prefer. Try and get your chest onto the floor. Oof. There we are. 20 seconds. Squat to a freeze crunch. How do we do this? It's not a bodyweight squat, like so, and then you're bringing your knee up and crunching down the side of your torso. Okay, so down, we'll do this, down, down. Down, 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 down. And again, if you prefer doing this, down, one, one, that's fine. That's all right. Oh, halfway through that. Down, down, down. Oh, I'm feeling the burn now. Awesome. Scissor plank or donkey kicks. Did this yesterday, I think it was yesterday. Yes, it was, so doing it again, all right? Now you know it, get some blood back into the muscles. Scissor plank is here, and then one, two, as you remember, or donkey kick, a little bit of a bend. So you feel it more in the uh, hamstring. Okay? If you're a beginner, it could be here and just one. But try as a beginner, do three, Stop. One, two, three. Stop. One, two, three. Stop. One, two, three. Stop. Scissors. One, two. And scissors, you can also do that. One. How long we got? Oh, a quick four seconds. Lovely. Ha! Ah, rope climb. This one is one <laughs> my dad at school. My granddad was a captain in the Navy. I imagine him doing this all the time. Rope climbs. Imaginary rope climbs. So we're climbing the imaginary rope. There's a bloody long rope. Now keep pace at this. You don't need, on this one, to have your knees going crazy high. Just keep the arms moving. And the legs. 15 seconds. Seven seconds. Wow. Standing, twist, jumps. Here, this, just, that's it, that's all you do, all right? Here we go. Just there. Actually, let's go to the middle, okay? You'll bend on the knees. 
Feet in the burn now. If you're a beginner, you want to just slow it down a little bit. Step here, step here, step here, step the middle. Step out, step the middle. Step out, step the middle. Step out, okay. Whatever you need. Okay, 20 seconds. Plank, knee, unders. So we've done the under squat with our hands. It's kind of similar now with the knees. The way we do it is here, plank position, and then one. You can do this, one, two, four, Try and control the breathing. If you're a beginner, try and come back a little bit more. Like here. Actually, no, go to there. See, so knee comes across. It's almost like it's touching still. You get this contraction here. There. Oh. Oh. It's actually a good one. The contraction is very intense on that one. Had a huge bang there. Children again. Being cheeky, all right. Hip bridge and a leg lift. Same as yesterday, bringing it back for a reason. Sorry, same as Monday, I believe it was. Uh, sorry, day one. Here we go. Hips up and then one. Keep them high, because we've said before, very tempting to drop the hips here, keep them up. We're getting close to the end of the first block. Oh, nice and warm now. Feeling it again. It's a warm week here in Colorado. Five seconds. Oh. Oh. 20 seconds. Next, we have. The finale of block one, V hold. And this one here is interesting because it's basically this, that, and you hold as long as you can. Oh, it's tough, it's challenging, we'll get through it. And as soon as this is over, I'm gonna sprint upstairs and discipline my children so I can hear them running around <laughs> with the puppy. It's madness in there, whoa. Now you're hugging a wobble, <sighs> and you feel attention to the hip flexors here, if you feel it, it's a lot, drop in, pause, back. Okay. Holding that there. Oh. Back in. 10 seconds almost. Okay, just hold it. Try to get back as straight as we can. Down, back again. Knee there, knee there. Oh, one minute's rest. I actually am. Gonna discipline my children. Watch this space, I'll be right back. That was quick, wasn't it? Dealt with it. Okay, one minute's breather. Uh, if you feel that you want longer, no worries, just pause the video and take longer. Just pause the video like I just did and discipline your kids, it's okay. With 30 seconds, we're going back into the running place again to again elevate our heart rate, even though it's already up a little bit. You know? Let's do it again. A little bit of water. Hmm, not too much. Whew, we'll have more at the end. Put that down. 17 seconds. How you feeling? Feeling good? I bet you're doing great. I know you are, because uh, once you start this thing, I feel like you get more kind of energy, more an energy boost. Here we go. And this, this one minute break is lovely. Off we go. Just light running in place. And after we go back to the deadlift touch, if you remember. Oh. Oh. My goodness, I'm dreaming. So high knees will be up here. If that's what you wanted to do. Okay. I'm happy doing run in place. Run in place. Little spins, 10 seconds. Alright, 
20 seconds. So deadlift touches, you recall, a little bend on the knee, you're coming forward and reaching forward, or you can touch if you want to, you're coming up, tap on the floor or not, and down again. Here we go. Gosh. Down, up, down, up, left foot. And I find with this, that changeover normally gives me a little bit of a, a wobble, but again, no props. Feeling this right through hamstrings. Excellent. Ooh. So if you weren't going to touch down, it looks something like that. And there, there. Oh, seven and oh, awesome. Push up, reach unders. Coming down. Remember the push up here, we don't want to get too close. We're not doing the close grip today. We're fairly, you know, sensibly wide. Elbows out a little bit. And then there's knee unders. Right, here we go. Let's come down, up, one, one. Down, up, sorry, is that knee under or reach under? I can't even see my right uh, reach under. So I did that, but let's just come down, up, here, here. My apologies. Yeah, it's the plank one later, isn't it? When we do the knee unders. That just, there. Okay, <sighs> squat to freeze crunch. So this one here, I think this one's one that kind of like gets demanding where we are trying that freeze crunch, freeze crunch, then squat. I'll do it as the squat to left crunch, squat to right freeze crunch. So down, crunch, down, crunch, down, crunch, down, crunch. And when you come to that crunch, feel the contraction here. Don't just be like, okay, knee up, try and feel it, okay? So there. Down. Ten seconds. Scissor plank, or donkey kicks. I did donkey kicks on this one because most of the other ones here were scissors on the last time. So, I'll go here. Oh, that'd be just like that. Give me that bend in the knee to feel a contraction and like the bicep of the leg. Excuse my glutes as well. Oh, let's try two and two. One, 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 two, one, two. Oh, feeling that burn. Goodness. Now it's getting hot. Hold on. One second, finish up there. Okay. That was lovely. Oh, the rope climb. The rope climb, my friend. Let's do it. 10 seconds. So remember, we're not going very high with the legs. The big thing here is to reach up and pull down that imaginary rope. There we go. Getting that looseness in the shoulders. Going. I feel a nice burn in the shoulders now. What happens sometimes is you start getting tired, you focus on the arms, and your legs will be there. You're like, oh, this feels better now. <laughs> Try and keep the legs moving. Oh. 
18 seconds. We are next up with the standing twist jump. Oh, this one gets me. This one gets me. Ready? Here, jump to here, jump to here, jump to here, so on and so forth. I feel this a lot in the calves as well. Again, that would be. I'll do that for the beginner actually. I think that feels good. If you have any knee issues, you know. 10 seconds. Oh, 20 seconds, plank, knee under. So this is what I was doing earlier on, but this is the right place for it. So around here, plank position, and we around knee under and back. Remember I showed that beginner one, where it's like coming like that. It doesn't look like the knees even come off the ground. It's only a fraction, but it still is a great contraction here. Okay. See, I like that one, it feels good. You want to? Think five seconds. Okay, uh, the others. Hip bridge, and then the dreaded V hold. So lie down. God, I'm sweating. Whew. Remember, the hip bridge stays high when we march and we push through the shoulders. And we try not to sink. I'm really getting tired now. But push through, guys. You're doing great. You can do this. I feel myself sinking, definitely. Push through, stay strong. Stay straight as you can. Nearly there. Nearly there. And not just his exercise, the whole lot. Okay. 20 seconds enjoy. The V hold. Oh my goodness. I am absolutely wiped. I'm sure you are too. So, arms out, legs out. When you feel the hip flexors, it's kind of unbearable. Just have a breather. Let's go to a happy place if you can. I'm on a beach right now. Oh, there's no coronavirus, just me on the beach. And my kids drive me nuts. Oh, oh. 10 seconds. Oh, I'm trying to do it. Oh. 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 Well done, well done, well done. We are done. Ah, oh, no, cool down. Take a second, breathe through the lungs. Sorry, breathe through the nose, into the lungs. Of these and then we will go ahead and do a very nice cool down. So well done, that was really really cool. Let's do this. Let's do our let's do our huggers. So day three, pretty much in the bag. You are doing awesome. It's really cool. I'm really glad you're here because it's just nice to have something we can follow like a like a goal. Seven days. In the seven days, so you know what? There's 52 weeks in a year. One of those weeks, I committed. I did seven days of exercise. All oh, right. Let's do this. Come over. 
Do that stretch as I love it. The other side. Put on the hand on the wrist, sorry. Come across. Okay. Bend the knees. Hips out. Like this. And just hang. Feel the stretch on the hamstrings. And drop. Hang. Breathe. Side to side here. Stretch the groin out. Other side. Ah, hear the birds outside. We've got a load of birds nesting in our house now. We're on our porch. And we've got kids going crazy with birds and it drives me nuts. It's nice to get out and do a, <laughs> a workout, stress reliever. Okay. Ah, oh. fantastic. Thank you so much for joining me on day three. Class is over, you're dismissed. If you do a little subscribe for me, that'd be awesome. Like it as well, that'd be even more awesome. I'll say thank you. Hope you, family, friends, loved ones are well. And I'll see you on day four tomorrow. So get some rest, have some fun, chill out, and we'll go hard tomorrow for, I think it's, uh, it's gonna definitely be the core, one way or the other, we have some abdominals, okay? So take care, I'll see you tomorrow.